heads into it now, but what is the adjustment been like going from junior college to Division One basketball, not just D one, but to an ACC program? What's that transition been like for you? Um, I mean, it's been different, um, but I, I kind of knew that coming in, and um, I mean, it's the same thing. It's just basketball. I'm, I mean, it's a little bit more sophisticated. There's more people around you, um, more people trying to get you uh, to where you're trying to go. Um, and like I said, it's just a little bit more intense. Um, there's a clear, very clear expectation of what's uh, needed out of you every day. And um, I mean, me being like who I am for the team, I just got to make sure I do that. What do you feel like your role is on this team based on practices and what y'all have done in a couple of exhibitions? Um, just trying to be an outspoken leader, um, that energy guy, um, the person who does everything that people don't want to do, um, rebound, um, you know, make sure I'm everywhere defensively, um, running the floor hard, running the corners. Um, and then when I'm not in the game, still communicating, still making sure guys are um, feeling my energy and um, just trying to get the team going. Um, you know, I, I really, it was really more just the opportunity that, uh, they presented me with. Um, obviously the situation was great. Um, you know, seeing what Justin did last year, um, I mean, it's not a necessarily a blueprint, but it's kind of, I see what can happen if you do well enough. Um, and it's been everything I've expected, um, a little bit more actually. And, um, this has been great. Chris, uh, do you see any similarities, you know, between you and Justin as far as how you play, um, you know, and some of your qualities? Because I mean, I feel like, you know, it's easy to see you all out there. You're about the same height. Yeah. You all both have a really nice bounce off the floor. Do you see any similarities? Um, personally, I've just spent a lot of time um, watching his game, but just from hearing and the stuff that I did watch, um, I mean, it's glaring similarities. Um, you know, we like to finish around the basket. <clears throat> um, we rebound really aggressively. Um, you know, I don't know what his uh, energy was like for the team or anything like that, but, um, you know, maybe we have something like that in common. But, I mean, just the obvious stuff that, you know, like we're kind of that 4 or 3 position, um, and we just play hard as hard as we can. With the way that you attack the basket, you're a guy who can – Kind of open up, you know, when the floor opens up, you can you can attack it. So that was a lot of things that Justin did last year. Is there, is there, so you you said you haven't watched a lot of tape, but has, has there been kind of a talk of like, hey, we're gonna need you to step up in this area over here, this area here? Would you talk to Jeff, or is it kind of just everyone still figuring out what this team is gonna be? Um, I think it's a combination of both. Um, you know, there's a like kind of I said earlier, there's a very clear expectation of what uh, is needed out of me. Um, and that's got to make sure, like, when the opportunity comes that I execute what I need to do, whether that be going up and get a rebound with two hands, um, making an outlet run on the floor, or if that's closing out on the shooter and making sure I turn and go get the rebound, or uh, making sure I set a good screen and making sure I get my teammate open. Um, but I don't think that there's been um, necessarily, like, you have to do this other than just the, the givens, you know what I mean? So... Everybody has talked a lot about how the COVID impacted sort of everything. And at this level, you know, there's been huge impacts all over. What was it like at, at a junior college where obviously you're not dealing with like programs that have million dollar budgets and things like that? How, how, how much do you feel like that impacted what you were able to do and what your team was able to do last year? Um, I mean, obviously it puts uh, some sort of limitations on you. Um, but I mean, the good, the good teams and the good programs try not to look at that stuff. Um, and I feel like we did a great job of that last year, uh, <clears throat> especially uh, with what we had. We had a lot of um, unforeseen injuries, um, a lot of uh, circumstances that we did not expect to happen going into the season. And, uh, you know, we still finished top 10 in the country um, ranked wise. And I, I feel like we should have been playing the national tournament, but we ended up uh, not getting the bid. Uh, it was it was an experience, but it it was it was definitely worth it. You know, like I definitely learned a lot about myself and you know what what's needed to be a good basketball player by going through that. We feel like you both. Oh, There's a lot of first year guys on, on this team. Is that, does that make the transition for you easier? Yeah, because um, you know you're not the only one going through it. Um, whether that be just you had an off day and you feel like you have nobody to turn to. Um, I have two roommates. <clears throat> who are first year guys. So um, 
you know, whenever I'm going through something or they're going through something, we know we can lean on each other. And obviously, we can lean on the people who have been here um, because they have also gone through the process and have had bad days and have great days. So, um, yeah, it's, it definitely helps out a lot. Who are you? Uh, Daniel and uh, Nate. Go on your scrimmage on Monday, but, you know, what are you looking forward to most about, you know, playing your first game here? Uh... I mean, kind of what you said, playing my first game here. Um, just make sure I can just go out there and just be athletic as possible. Um, bring the most energy to the team. Just go in there with a great mindset. Um, obviously, stay focused. Um, I'm treating this like a game. Um, I feel like the team is as well. Uh, just because it won't go on our record doesn't mean that it won't affect us. Um, and I feel like we just need to understand that and take it with the same approach that we're going to take to November 9th. So many guys in your position that's going to be the first game, and also a lot of guys that won't be the first game, but maybe haven't played that much in the past. Like, yeah, seems like there's greater than average level of excitement to, to get this get this thing going. Yeah, um, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of things that um, that build up to that. I mean, I haven't played in front of more than 30 people in a long time, so that <clears throat> that plays a factor in it. Um, also, um, I'm on a team with new guys, um, so I, you know, I'm really excited to see what they bring to games and how they approach warm-ups and stuff like that. And just, it's just a new situation. You know, whenever it, uh, you're doing the same thing, just in a different place, it's always a little bit more fun. Who's the guy in, the, in practice or when you guys are working that pushes you the most? Like, who's the guy that you like, that you like either you D up or they D you up and you have to go back and forth with? Them? Uh, it's a combination. Um, but for, for, for the most part, probably Dan. Um, just because we both kind of took, I don't want to say similar routes, but he was a Juco kid uh, before he went to Oakland. And um, he's my roommate. And, um, I mean, we kind of just, we're kind of fighting for the same spot, you know. Um, and we're aware of that. And we, and we understand that in order for this team to get better and for ourselves to get better, you know, we kind of have to go past what we're comfortable with. You know what I mean? Whether that be... Uh, I know that he's had a couple bad plays. I got to make sure that I try to do my best to make him have another bad play. You know, I'm not saying that in the bad. I'm just saying like play the best defense possible, or or push push the ball in transition, or run harder, seal. You know, just try to make sure that he he understands that the other team isn't going to give him those opportunities, and I have to also understand those things. Talking about your other roommate, uh, you know, Nate, the lone freshman on this team. You know, he's a 20 year old kid. He's no uh, no slouch. But what have you seen from Nate so far, and uh, what kind of role do you think he'll play for this team this year? <sighs> Nate, he um he has the potential to be a lot of things. Um, not just a scorer, not just a shooter. Um, you know, he has great size for um for what he does, shooting the ball and spacing the floor. Um, you know, he just needs to play with a little bit more of a motor. Um in terms of like aggressiveness and stuff like that. But I think that all comes with just being comfortable. You know, once you stop thinking about what you need to do and what, uh, you know, you're, you're supposed to do and you start focusing on basketball, I think that's when the the other um, the other factors come into it. But I think he can be a great scorer for us. Um, I think he can defend a lot of different positions. I feel like, you know, he communicates well and I'm excited to see. Chris, you had touched on this a little bit earlier. What did you learn about yourself in junior college? Man, um, that there really aren't any excuses. Um, you know, uh, seeing people in, in, in the situations that, uh, that you're put in in junior college, like, you know, there's not really much to look forward to the next day other than just playing basketball. So, like, if you don't value basketball, then, you know, you really can't get through that situation. So, like, understanding that it's not just something that you're doing every day just to get to the next day. You know, like, it's something that you go in the gym and, like, you're really trying to get better that day because you never know what the next day is going to hold. You know, it kind of made you more grateful for basketball and sort of more oh, 100%. appreciative. Walking around here, it's, like, it, it's crazy. Like, it, you literally just – I mean, for me, I just get excited just – seeing the ACC logo it's like yeah. crazy like that stuff I was joking about with my friends as you know like oh I, I wish I could play in the ACC without the band but yeah it just it makes you appreciate things a little bit more um puts things puts things in uh, perspective anything on the schedule that you were kind of looking forward to other than mm -hmm. oh, the first one Morgantown you know 
we'll be there. We'll be ready, and um, we'll give them a great game. 100%. Why Morgan? Why Morgan then? It's our first real like challenge. I mean, obviously we have two games before then that are going to give us challenges, but I mean in terms of like obvious like you know matchups, like that's the one that you know you got to put your finger on and make sure like regardless of what happens in those first two games, we got to be ready for that. We can have two great games, we can have two bad games, but that game has to be great. Chris, what kind of impact do you think John Kiesel will have on this team? I think we have a tremendous impact. Um, <clears throat> just like, um, kind of like how I said with uh, with Nate, you know, he's still growing um, as a basketball player, and I just feel like he has a lot of a lot of different things that he can do to help this team out. Um, and I feel like he does a great job of knowing that he has a lot of things that he can do to help this team out. Um, I just feel like he just has to, you know, continue to bring it every day and um, just keep getting better at, you know, at the at the little things. And you know, success will come, hundred percent. I know you just got here and that your, you know, student athlete life is extremely busy. Yeah. But uh, you have a place or like a like something that or some place to go on campus or off campus that you like. That's like your place is in, like a food that you get that'll that kind of brings you back out for a little for a quick break. You know, I would say Chick Fil A. Um, <laughs> I just had some. Every day <laughs> that's, that's what that breakfast was. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but uh, other than that, probably insomnia. I'm like me and me and ice cream have a real relationship. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna be real. But other than that, yeah, probably just Chick Fil A, insomnia. Obviously, the gym. Um, yeah, yeah, Any, and also anywhere where I have my AirPods in, you know, <laughs> anywhere, so. All right, Chris, back Chris has got a test he's got to get to. Oh, thank you. Oh, you can, I, got, I got time for him, I got time for him. Well, listen, but, uh, you didn't shoot a lot of threes back in your days in Indian Hills, but I've heard that you was working on your shot behind the scenes doing that. How comfortable do you feel today when it comes to your ability to space the floor? So, with that, the confidence was never not there, you know. I, I would always step if, – if that's what my coach wanted me to do, um, I'd definitely t step up and take a three. Um, but that's something that before practice, after practice, um, off days for for years now, I can say years, that I've been working on. Um, and it's, it's getting to a, a spot now that even when, you know, a, a defender's closing out or, you know, I, he's giving me too much space I, that I have the confidence um, – and I believe that my coach has the confidence in me to take that shot. So um, we'll see what happens, for sure. We'll see what happens.